हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट न्यूट्रिशन इज मेनली प्रोवाइडेड बाय द फूड एंड फूड प्रोवाइडर्स एनर्जी दिस एनर्जी प्रोवाइडेड बाय फूड इज यूटिलाइज्ड बाय द बॉडी टू परफॉर्म वेरियस मेटाबॉलिक एक्टिविटीज इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ओके सो इन दिस सेशंस फॉर द सेशंस वी आर गोइंग टू सी द न्यूट्रिशन एंड प्लांट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ हाउ that means how they get up the nutrition through the process of photosynthesis the nutrition in animals digestion in the human beings as well as digestion in the ruminants so let's start the session first we will look over that how the nutrition in the plants takes place now we know that nutrition means it is a process carried out by organisms to obtain energy right from the nutrients they required for maintaining life right now plants have two modes of nutrition first is autotrophic and second is heterotrophic so let's start with autotrophic nutrition the main process by which the autotrophic nutrition performed by plants is photosynthesis in this process plants utilize atmospheric sunlight the carbon dioxide which is released by us the water which we you know give during plantation and all and it is absorbed by the roots okay taken up by the leaves and with the help of chlorophyll that is a pigment present in the leaf right so here what happens with the help of these three components that is sunlight carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight plant make their own food and its food is the glucose okay its food is glucose and oxygen is released in the atmosphere so main photosynthesis uh, you can method is that you can say or the process involves is this sunlight carbon dioxide and water combine and plant make the food that is glucose in the presence of chlorophyll and give out oxygen so like this with the help of photosynthesis process plants make their own food as we all know that autotrophic nutrition in which auto means self right so plants make their own food okay now what is the site of photosynthesis where does this photosynthesis takes place it is mainly carried out in the leaf of the plant okay now this leaf has uh, the small molecules which are called as chloroplast now this chloroplast are the main you can say organ of the plants which undergo photosynthesis and these structures have the pigment called chlorophyll green colored pigment chlorophyll and the green color of the plants is due to this chloroplast now this chloroplast has the outer membrane inner membrane these stroma cells granum and this lumen which has this coin like structure called thylakoids now this stroma cells has the capacity to capture the sunlight from the atmosphere and convert it into the chemical energy or you can say into the glucose now here we will have a look on the tissues the important tissue of the plants now the most important tissue first is the xylem which carries absorbed water and mineral salts from other parts of the body that is mainly carried out by the roots in plants roots mainly absorb the water right and then it is transported to the other parts by the tissue xylem next comes the phloem when photosynthesis takes place the food whatever is formed in the chloroplast or you can say in the with the help of the chlorophyll it is transported to the other body parts of the plant by phloem so xylem can be called as water conducting tissue and phloem can be called as the food conducting tissue okay now here we can also uh, you can say consider a chemical reaction for the photosynthesis as it is a biochemical process photosynthesis is a biochemical process biochemical process means bio as it is taking place in a living being and chemicals that is involving a chemical energy right so as we have seen we can make the equation like this that six atoms of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and six atom of h2 which is taken up from the roots okay in the presence of sunlight as well as the chlorophyll the chlorophyll 
which is present in the chloroplast gives out the organic matter or you can say glucose which is a food of plant is formed one one molecule of glucose gives out again the oxygen is formed which is released in the air which is utilized by us so in this type you can say chemical reaction takes place six atom of co2 and six atom of h2 in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight combine to give one molecule of glucose and six atoms of oxygen so students in this session we have seen how photosynthesis takes place or you can say the autotrophic nutrition of plants in further session we will see how heterotrophic nutrition takes place in other plants thank you